everyone, it's Serotonin. Good afternoon. Um, I just wanted to do a little chat with you guys about the video that I put up uh, with um, Mark Bayerski, the um, manifesting video about the secret. And I've been thinking about that story a lot the last couple of days, and it's actually really funny because I had a very similar experience to him. I heard about the secret through friends, uh, actually through a friend of a friend. Um, when I was traveling, I stopped off uh, as I was flying into New Zealand. Um, I was welcomed by a friend's friends from home. And they looked after me for a couple of days until I got my train out uh, out east. And they loaded up some computer, some uh, movies and stuff onto my computer, and um, also gave me a cell phone, which is really fine of them. And one of the things they put on my computer was the secret. And so I um, watched it while I was out camping. I was camping in New Zealand for six weeks and I watched pretty much everything they put on my computer, um, including The Secret, which I thought was really, really cool. And to the point that um, when I got back to Hawaii, I actually wrote a letter to myself, to my future partner, actually, saying, here we are together, so happy. And that's all I wrote and it just drew and it was so interesting because the thing that Mark remembered from the secret was the possessions that people were asking for. But the thing that I remembered from that movie was that a man had been putting pictures of these sort of very um, beautiful sort of um, modelish looking women who were very sort of overtly sexy and whatnot in and around his apartment and that was the kind of relationship that he was sort of summoning for himself and he realized that all of those relationships with people like that would be fleeting and if he wanted something more long term he would have to change the the type of woman that was represented in his environment and so i did the same and all i wanted was a partner to be happy with and I drew this picture and what's so interesting is when I came home I came home I was supposed to continue traveling I came home to do a job in the city that I've been doing for many many years and it was just a you know one of those jobs it's like kind of part-time like it happens every year but it's for a music festival so I don't sound quite so cryptic and um, one thing led to another and I met my now future uh, my now husband who at the time was already someone I knew so he was a uh, not an old acquaintance but someone who I had known quite well he was a neighbor and when we uh, when we started dating very early in turns out that I was pregnant and in that moment there was no question as to what I was going to do. I was obviously going to have this kid. Obvious was, missed was for myself, to myself. I wasn't quite sure how things were going to happen, but I knew that I'd been chosen. And this was before I even thought about stuff like this or thought this way. But it was like almost immediate. Like as soon as I figured out I was pregnant, I started, like before that, I was definitely pro-choice. And at that point I was like, there's no, there is no choice. There's no choice. I'm having this kid. This kid is asking for me to be the mom. And who am I to say no to that? And so I just said yes to love. And it changed my entire life. And I've just continued to say yes to my children and be there fully and completely for them. It's completely changed my life. But what was so interesting is that my husband and I recently, we've been wanting to move. And so we've had this visualization of where we're going to move. And we even wrote like a little list of what we wanted. And we asked the universe for it. And can you please bring us this? And, blah, blah, blah. 
And we've had this note up for a really long time. And I remember it worked for my uncle and my aunt many, many years ago, back in the 80s. And so I wanted to try it. And uh, had this note up for a really long time. And we've actually been laughing about this list, this wish list of this home that we want. Because the funny thing is, as much as we want this home, and we even have a yurt, we're ready to go, we're ready to have land, you're totally ready to go. But the funny thing is that we really enjoy where we live, even though it's in the middle of the city, like it's smack dab in the center of the biggest city in the country. And we're like right downtown. And um, we have a really great apartment and we have a really amazing landlord and really amazing neighbors. And I've been living in this house for 12 years now. And even though we're too big for the apartment, we still, I mean, given today's living conditions, we've still got something pretty amazing, pretty big for what we have. And so we're incredibly content and I've been laughing with him about this idea that we're never going to manifest something new because we're too happy with what we've got. And so we were looking at it as like a problem. <laughs> we were like laughing about it still, but like, oh no, we're too content with what we've got. We're never going to get the new thing. And then I found Mark's video and it just made me laugh so much because we have been doing it right the whole time because we're so content, because we're so grateful, because that's how we live our life together. Ever since we've been together, we've been so grateful to the universe, to God, to source, whatever you want to call it, whatever's brought us together. And we knew right from the get-go that there was something bigger than us bringing us together and bringing us our family so quickly. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway... I just wanted to share my own personal story because Mark had shared his and yeah, I don't know. I thought it was really funny. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and uh, we'll talk really soon. Okay. Lots of love. Bye for now.